everyone, and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you are new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope that you will consider sticking around and subscribing. If you do, make sure you introduce yourself in the comments all the way at the bottom so that I can get to know you. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I just got back from a trip to Orlando, hence my shirt that I'm wearing. And while I was there, I was eating out a ton, indulging in way too many cocktails, of course. And now I need to start getting back on track. So I'm going to be doing my weekly meal prep, sharing with you everything that I'm making. I'm going to be meal prepping both breakfast and lunch items. And I'm going to be preparing a breakfast quiche, some baked oatmeal cups, and as well as a big healthy pasta salad for lunch and some grilled chicken to go along with it. I'm also going to be cutting up all sorts of fresh vegetables to be snacking on with all my various dips that I like. So make sure that you stick around all the way to the end to see how everything turns out. All right, so that's enough rambling. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 425 and then get started on my quiche. I'm going to take a regular old store-bought pie crust and unroll it into my quiche pan. Then I'm just going to pop the crust into the oven while I prepare the rest of the quiche. Quiche is so easy to customize, you can really add to it whatever you want. But today I thought it sounded good to add some broccoli, some cheddar cheese, and some ham. So here I'm just chopping up the broccoli really finely and then I'm going to take one of these store-bought ham steaks and I'm just going to dice that up into small bites. To a bowl, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients, and that is six eggs, and then a cup of any kind of milk, about a half a cup of half and half, and then whatever spices you like. Here I'm using thyme, parsley, pepper, salt of course, and then a little sprinkle of nutmeg. I'm going to whisk that up really well. I removed the crust from the oven. At this point, it's only been baking for about five minutes. And then I'm going to start to layer my ingredients on top. I like doing it this way so that they all are nice and even. So I'm just adding all the broccoli, the diced up ham, and then topping it with a big handful of shredded cheddar cheese, of course. And then I'm just gonna carefully pour the egg mixture right on top. This bakes at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes until it's no longer jiggly. Now, while the quiche is baking, I'm going to get started on the prep for the apple cinnamon baked oatmeal. These are so soft and chewy, the texture is amazing, and these make it super easy to have breakfast on the go. To start, I'm just peeling an apple and then dicing it up really finely. Now to one bowl, you wanna add about three cups of oats. And if you've seen my meal prep videos before, you know I always make a mess of my oats. Then you also wanna add a teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then mix this all together. Now to a second bowl, you want to add in two eggs and then a cup of milk, uh, any type you prefer. I'm using almond milk here. And then a half a cup of maple syrup. And then lastly, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're going to whisk this together really well. You are going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix it until it's combined. And then you're gonna add in the chopped apple and gently mix that together. To your muffin tin, you either wanna add liners or you wanna spray it really well with nonstick spray and then divide the batter evenly by 12. These bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. When they're done, remove them from the oven and let them cool in the pan for five minutes. 
before letting them finish cooling on a cooling rack. These can be stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to a week. Now that breakfast is done, I'm gonna get started on this loaded pasta salad. So to begin, of course, I need to boil some water and cook my pasta, and I'm using my favorite brown rice and quinoa pasta that I get at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna cook the pasta until it's al dente. While the pasta is cooking, I'm gonna start prepping everything else that's going in the pasta salad, and you can obviously customize this with whatever you prefer. I'm just starting by dicing up some zucchinis. They were looking really good now that it's almost zucchini season. Then I'm going to dice up some bell pepper. And now I'm just cutting some of these little grape tomatoes in half. I'm adding a handful of these little mozzarella pearl balls. They are already the perfect size for pasta salad. And then I am going to drain a small can of these black olives. And a good tip is to get the ones that are already sliced. Now I just have to quickly mix in the rest of the ingredients. So I had a little bit of leftover ham from the quiche, so I just thought I'd add that in so it wouldn't go to waste. But if you're a vegetarian, definitely consider adding in some chickpeas or black beans for some nice protein. Then I'm going to add in the pasta before I mix it all up with a little bit of this herbed vinaigrette. To go along with the pasta salad, I'm gonna have some grilled chicken. So I'm going to marinate these chicken strips in the same salad dressing that I'm using for the pasta salad. After I let that marinate for a few hours, I'm gonna have my husband grill this for me on our gas grill. The last part of my meal prep is cutting up some vegetables. And I love all sorts of dips like guacamole, ranch, hummus, spinach dip. And if I have vegetables like these cut up and ready to go, I'm much more likely to grab these rather than a chip or a pretzel. So here I'm just cutting up some carrots, celery, and sweet peppers. All right, so here's how everything came out. This is my super yummy broccoli and cheese and ham. It's gonna be so yummy, reheated in the morning. And again, I could eat this as a really nice lunch too with a side salad. And then I also have my other part of my yummy breakfast prep. These are my apple and cinnamon baked oatmeal. Then I have my loaded pasta salad. This is full of vegetables and yummy little mozzarella balls. And I'm going to be serving this along with the delicious grilled chicken that I marinated in the same salad dressing as the pasta salad. So it's just gonna go together perfectly. And then for my snacks, I have my colorful, healthy vegetables all prepped. And I love serving them with these little single servings of hummus. Just perfect for portion control. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this meal prep and that it inspired you to do a meal prep of your own. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe if you are new. I am going to see you on Sunday with a brand new video.